Hi, it's time to get our scared little foster dog out of the car and help get her comfortable in our home. Look, she's in the front seat. Neither Robin or I saw Sadie jump to the front when we got out of the car. Ready? Yeah, but I'm going to stand a little bit to the side so she doesn't get scared of me, okay? Yeah. It was quite a cute surprise to see her sitting in the passenger seat watching us through the window. wagging her tail now. Seeing Sadie's tail wag made me feel hopeful that she was already building some degree of trust with me. By the time her paws were on the ground, she looked a little more at ease. She began sniffing with curiosity and enthusiasm. Good girl! good if she could pee. Yep, maybe she will. She might be a little too nervous though. My mom and Anderson were anxiously waiting inside the house to meet her. Look at mom. I could see the smiles on their faces through the windows. Okay. Ready? Let's go. I stayed outside with Sadie long enough for her to pee if she had to, but she didn't take the opportunity. Sadie was afraid to climb the stairs, so I carried her up. Sadie was also afraid to enter the house, so I carried her over the threshold. I was both happy and relieved that she approached Anderson as soon as she did. Both he and my mom tried their best to keep their hands to themselves and not touch her just yet. It was especially hard for my mom. She was eager to make friends with Sadie and was looking forward to the moment when Sadie would sit on her lap. The rescue volunteer who handed Sadie over to us advised that we leave her collar and leash on while she acclimated to her new environment. We let her wander around the sunroom and we just sat back and watched her. She growled at us in the car. Oh, yeah. yeah, she she just started warming up to me. I lifted her, but it... But it took, you know, an hour in the car with her just yeah. to talk to her very yeah. calmly. Sadie only growled at us when we first got in the car with her, and it was purely out of fear, not aggression. And who could blame her? The poor girl was terrified. Yeah, I was in the car with you. Isn't she adorable? You're cute. She took the opportunity to stop and look at each of us, which was quite endearing. The way she looked at Anderson and Robin was very reassuring. She seems to take a liking to you, Anderson. Yeah. yeah. Her fear of men was clearly not going to be an issue in our family. That's an old man. Yeah. Sadie? Yeah. Is your name Sadie? Yeah. <laughs> Sadie. She's a baby. We all found her very sweet. Everything about this dog was sweet. She was pure sugar walking around on four legs. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Robin brought in her belongings so she wouldn't feel separated from her stuff. Sadie took a tiny rest, but every little noise outside had her looking out the patio door. When I started to show interest in Sadie's things, it's your toy. she perked up quite a bit. I loved that she was wanting to show me what was in her green bag. What else do you have in here? Oh, do you have a stuffed bear? It really warmed my heart to see her take so much pride in her humble bag of belongings. Is this yours? What is it? dog food? There was a bag of kibble that I'd been told she wasn't too keen on eating. I didn't notice right away that the kibble was actually a puppy formula. Sadie's five and a half. 
As a previous dog owner, I know it isn't ideal for adult dogs to eat puppy food long term. Oh, is this yours? I wanted to help Sadie become as healthy as possible. Let's see. Let's get some duck jerky. We won't tell the birds. I knew I had my work cut out for me, but I was up for the challenge. She mentioned uh, boiled chicken. I see it. It's so cute that she knows her things and she's making sure all of her belongings are in that bag. I was thrilled to learn that Sadie was a dog who still liked to play. Oh, is this yours too? You like stuffies. Isn't that cute? It's a squeaky stuffy. <laughs> oh, it's a sheep. I wanted Sadie to have some new things to complement the new life she was starting with us. So I was eager to go dog shopping for some new toys for her. Maybe we can get you a piece of chicken. Hmm? Would you like a piece of your chicken? Yeah, I'm going to give her a piece. Sadie needed to gain some weight, but it was going to take more than cooked chicken. Hey, would you like a piece of chicken? Her coat was dull, her skin was noticeably dry, and she was definitely on the thin side. Good girl, nice and gentle. Gentle. I was eager to get her on a properly balanced and consistent diet to meet her nutritional needs. Oh, she's taking it so gently. Good girl. Well, she trusts you, I guess. She I think so. It. I think so. That's a big piece, though. There you go. Is that on the floor? Mmm, yum. Good girl. When I pet her after hand feeding her some chicken, she stiffened her body and became frozen like a statue for a few seconds. She then laid down on the floor and stiffed my leg in what I think was her attempt to try and get to know me better. I think she's getting comfortable with you. Sadie was trying to scope me out, and I more than welcomed her to do so. I knew you were thirsty. The proof that she'd already started the bonding process with me came when I left the sunroom to go into the kitchen to make lunch for everyone. She waited by the door for me the entire time. I couldn't believe it. What are you doing? Sadie? What is in there? When I came back into the room, she wanted to play with me. What's in there that you want? She was happy. She was so happy, she was silly. Oh, you found another ball. Did you find another ball? Yes. Almost puppy-like. It was wonderful. You are a girl who likes to play. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Yeah. Oh, it's nice to see you being silly. It's so nice. You want to play ball with me? Do you? Can I have the ball? I'll, I'll throw it. I'll roll it around. Would you like that? Would you like that? Do you want to play? You like it, huh? As the day carried on, Sadie stayed close to me. Very close. In fact, she never let me out of her sight a single time. She even rolled over on her back and invited me to rub her belly. The progress I'd made with her absolutely astounded me. Before the sun set on Easter Sunday, this shy little Shih Tzu of a sweetheart was relaxing in her home in a way that completely melted my foster dog mom heart. I knew this was the start of something special, very special, so special that if she stayed with us long term, which I really wanted to be the case, I was already thinking of adding Grace to her name. Sadie Grace. It has a really nice ring to it. 
As a person of faith, the irony wasn't lost on me that she'd entered our lives on the holiest of Christian holidays. God knew we needed some grace in our lives, and Sadie needed some grace in hers too. Thanks so much for watching. If you missed part one of our fostering journey, make sure you check it out. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and feel free to comment below. We'd love to hear from you. You can also subscribe to our channel. Be sure to hit the bell button so you'll be alerted each time we post a new video. Be well, and we'll see you next time.